you could visit any city in the United States, where would you go and why? Oh my god, it's a very difficult question. <laughs> Exchange is uh, really, I think, has become kind of an umbrella term um, for several different models of um, connecting students using technology. What virtual exchange does is it gives students, all of these students, so who who can't go or can't go where they'd like to go, the opportunity to get to know their peers in those countries and to really um, have an international and an intercultural experience, um, even though they're not physically moving, going to another country. In the past, we always assumed that students who would go uh, for study abroad, either, uh, and in particular for the short-term study abroad, so a semester or a year or even shorter, uh, that they would have a much better perspective in their work situation than if they would not be mobile. If you focus much more on internationalization at home and bringing the local context as your basis, so you have to work with industry, you have to work with employers uh, to see well, what are their needs, uh, what they think is important for their work in the international context, and do that in your digital way, bring that in that perspective from local experiences and learning from best practices elsewhere, I use the, the name or the term virtual exchange to talk about a, a pedagogy of teaching uh, and learning where the, the focus is on the exchange or the encounter across cultures, across languages, across borders, between students, where they work together on a project to solve issues with different perspectives is a set of opportunities strategically built across the curriculum for students and professors to engage with the world in a very broad sense. This could be on a systemic way, uh, dealing with systemic global issues like climate change, uh, uh, the impact on the environment, or more localized, more granular issues as differences in culture, differences in language, differences in worldviews. When we engage in virtual exchange, we are connecting people and ideas and perspectives that we, that we need. And virtual exchange is connecting people that might not be able to be connected in any other way. It is of absolute essence that um, we make learning active, that we engage the learner in the learning process, that we make the learner roll up his or her sleeves and work with whatever new information or knowledge needs to be developed. And yeah, get ready for a pedagogical sea change. For, for a profound transformation of your approach to learning and teaching. Because what you, what you will do in the context of designing and implementing and evaluating a virtual exchange will have an impact on any other teaching that you do. A good one, a positive impact. Para isso, para isso, a gente precisa ter uma educação que é realmente inovadora, no sentido que não pode ser baseado, por exemplo, em disciplinas, em coisa que a gente faz na educação tradicional. E aí, então, metodologias ativas, eh, projetos, etc., coloca esse aluno mais preparado, vamos dizer assim, para saber lidar com problemas, projetos, implantação, etc., etc., etc. Então, hoje, quando a gente fala em metodologias ativas, nós estamos falando em metodologias, inclusive, que combinam, vamos dizer assim, atividades presenciais e atividades à distância, Essa é uma das peculiaridades assim, muito importantes né? desse, novo, desse novo momento global que a gente vive e que não é mais possível educar as pessoas entregando para as pessoas apenas conhecimento. 
num modelo que é o modelo da aprendizagem ativa, né? O active learning, que nos leva a, a vamos dizer assim, derivações do tipo PBLs, né? Problem-based learning, aprendizagem baseada em problema, project-based learning, aprendizagem baseada em projeto, practice-based learning, aprendizagem baseada na prática, people-based learning, aprendizagem baseada nas pessoas. Então, aqui no Brasil a gente tem chamado, né, lá fora, né, o pessoal chama isso de soft skills. Aqui no Brasil nós temos chamado isso de aprendizagem transversal. Esse intercâmbio né, internacional, eu vejo assim, primeiro, que a gente trabalhar com metodologias ativas e por projetos, nós temos a, a grande facilidade, nesse caso, de trazer problemas reais para dentro da sala de aula, no sentido de que o aluno não está resolvendo um problema abstrato e um problema mais concreto da realidade. After we started coiling, doing virtual exchange at FIU. I was very focused on the process itself and the benefits of engaging in virtual exchange and, and COIL in terms of learning, global learning specifically, and three specific learning outcomes. First, gaining a greater global awareness. A, a, a better understanding of the world's complexity and interrelatedness. Second, a global perspective, the ability to engage and connect and synthesize different perspectives for a more complex and nuanced understanding of the world. And then finally, global engagement, more of an interest in working with different people. I think that's really encouraging and we're seeing like a whole generation of academics all around the world that don't just know about COIL but they feel empowered to develop it and I think it changes how they look at teaching so not just the COIL project but they look at their entire curriculum and their way of teaching. By making it more collaborative, by making it more team-based, I think we better prepare our students for, um, for, for the workplace. Active engagement, interaction is essential in order to create a truly global experience for our students.